Hi, I am Sheikh Mahbub Basha. Welcome to my channel, Happy Learn Experiment. To determine the refractive index of glass using a prism, take a paper, place it on the drawing board, put the glass prism almost at the center of this paper, draw the outline of this uh, glass uh, prism. Note down the coordinates A, B, C. B, C will be the base of the prism. On the refracting surface A, B, select one point almost at the center of A, B. Using the protractor, note down the position of normal and the incident ray. Here I am taking 35 degrees as the angle of incidence. Now draw the normal to the surface AB. This will be the normal and draw the incident ray. So this is making an angle 35 degree. And here one important thing, extend the incident ray with the dotted line. The incident ray is incident on the refracting surface AB. There afterwards extend the line with the dotted line. Here angle of incidence I equal to 35 degree. And this is the normal. Okay. Now project the laser beam along the incident ray. You will get the emergent ray on the other side of the prism. Put two dots to draw the emergent ray. Join these two points. You will get the emergent ray. Make it as RS. Now our aim is to note down the angle of deviation that is the angle between the incident ray and the emergent ray. Here it is 41 degree. So D equal to 41 degree. So this is the final picture. Take another paper. Repeat the same process. Put the prism at the center of the paper. Draw the outline of this glass prism. So here it is outline of the prism. Then note down the three corners A, B, C. B, C will be the base of the prism. A, B is first refracting surface. So select one point almost at the center of the refracting surface A, B. And from that point, uh, using protractor, draw the normal. So put a dot at uh, 90 degree. Then from there, count the angle 10, 20, 30, 40. So at 40 degree, put a dot. Now join these two points. That is from the refracting surface AB to the point we have taken at 90 degree. That will be the normal. And the other line through the other point will be the incident ray. Extend this incident ray with the dotted lines. So this angle of incidence I equal to 40 degree. This is incident ray. Call it as PQ. Now place the prism as it is. Now project the laser beam along the incident ray PQ. You will get the emergent ray on the other side of the prism. So put two dots on the emergent ray so that uh, you can draw the emergent uh, ray. Join these points, uh, you will get the emergent ray. Call it as R S. Now our aim is to find the angle between the incident ray and the emergent ray that is called as angle of deviation. So using protractor, the angle of deviation is uh, noted. 
here it is 40 degree so this is the final picture repeat the same process for another angle of incidence so abc triangle that is representing the prism so this is noting the normal and incident ray positions so this is a normal this is incident ray the angle of incidence here is 45 degree the incident ray is named as pq project the laser beam and uh, note the emergent ray rs and the deviation here it is 38 degrees then same process is repeated for uh, other angle of uh, incidence so abc prism base bc on the first refracting surface normal and incident ray so this is a normal and uh, this time the incident ray is uh, making an angle 50 degree i equal to 50 degree so place the prism project the laser beam along the incident ray and uh, note down the position of the emergent ray the emergent ray rs and uh, the angle of deviation here is 42 degree process is repeated using the another paper so abc prism on the first refractive surface normal and the incident ray so this is normal and this is the incident ray it is making an angle 55 degree i equal to 55 degree project the laser beam along the incident ray and uh, note down the position of the emergent ray so this is emergent ray rs incident ray pq and here the angle of deviation d is 43 degree now take a graph paper draw the x y axis so here it is a y axis i am drawing for clear visibility i am using sketch pen on graph paper you need to use a pencil only take the angles on x axis as 5 10 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 so angle of incidence i is taken on x axis and on y axis d angle of deviation d is taken on y axis on y axis so angles will be 5 degree 10 degree 15 degree 20 degree 25 degree 30 degree 35 degree 40 degree 45 degree and 50 degree so let us uh, note down the points from the five diagrams we have already drawn for various angles of incidence that is angles of incidence uh, 35 degree 40 degree 45 degree 50 degree and 55 degree so for these angles of incidence the corresponding uh, angles of deviation d are taken so i versus d graph is drawn so these are the points the graph uh, is not accurate so its shape is uh, known to us it is a u shape it will be u shape so draw the graph with the free hand it should be in u shape so here i draw this um so the graph shape is u shape at the bottom of this uh, that is the bottom most point is selected and corresponding uh, projections are drawn onto x axis and y axis so the corresponding y axis value is the minimum value among all d values which is called as a angle of minimum deviation and here it is 38 degree 
it is represented by a capital D. As the prism is a equilateral triangle shape, angle A, angle of the prism will be 60 degree and from the graph, the angle of minimum deviation we got as 38 degree. The formula is n equal to sin of a plus d by 2 whole divided by sin a by 2. This is the formula. Substituting the values sin of 60 degree plus 38 degree by 2 whole divided by sin of 60 degree by 2. That will be sin of 98 degree by 2 by sin 30 degree. That will be sin of 49 degree by 1 by 2. That is equal to sin 49 degree value is 0 0.7547 and this 1 by 2 when taken to the numerator becomes 2 by 1. So finally we got 1.5094 that can be approximated to 1.51. So, n value, refractive index value got as n equal to 1.51. The refractive index of glass is n equal to 1.51. Thank you.